NASA researchers have wrapped up a never before done experiment. The scientists were measuring how aerosols interact with sea ice. WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff caught up with one of the mission leads who explains why this experiment is so important. High over the skies of Greenland, NASA has been flying in and out of clouds, <laughs> gathering valuable data along the way. The Arctic's changing really fast, faster than anywhere else on the planet. Uh, and there's a lot of things that we don't know about the Arctic. The evolution of the Arctic climate system has a lot of ripple effects that, that influence us where, where we live in, in the United States. That's what makes this mission so important and why the mission science lead, Patrick Taylor, says the Arctic is the perfect research bed. The Arctic is really stable because it has you know, the sea ice and when you have a stable atmosphere, then it's how you can get these distinct layers. Every flight, there are at least four distinct, unique aerosol layers. This mission, called ARC-6, quantifies those layers and their impact on seasonal sea ice melt. Aerosols act as cloud condensation nuclei, causing more clouds to form. Some aerosols can reflect sunlight back into space, possibly cooling the climate by blocking the sun's energy. On the other hand, aerosols like black carbon can absorb heat, having the opposite effect. We're looking at our processes that cause, it can accelerate the warming of the Arctic. And a warming Arctic would mean faster melting. And faster melting means faster rising sea levels. It's estimated that 80% of Greenland is covered in ice. And even if we stopped emissions right now, the continued warming and melting ice would raise our sea levels by about a foot over the next 50 years. For now, Taylor and his colleagues are looking forward to digging into the data. We'll have uh, some kind of first reflections of the data here in the next couple of months, and then kind of it'll unfold over the next few years and start to piece things together, you know, over time in ways that we haven't thought of yet, right? On the Climate Watch, I'm meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. I'm certain that Jacob was a science teacher in another life. And had to be the one that all of the students <laughs> loved too, because his teachers right. are always so interesting. That's right.